What is i'tikaf? I'tikaf is a sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I'tikaf, the beloved sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said that he spent the first 10 days of Ramadan in search of Laylatul Qadr. He did not find it there. Then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam spent the second 10 days of Ramadan in search of Laylatul Qadr, meaning in I'tikaf. He did not find it there. Then he was informed Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that Laylatul Qadr is within the last 10 nights of Ramadan. Every single year the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would sit i'tikaf for the last 10 days of Ramadan in search of Laylatul Qadr, thereby teaching his nation that as the month of Ramadan comes to a conclusion, comes to an end, you should up your game and you should increase your efforts and work harder in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in search of Laylatul Qadr. And the honorable wives of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa would also sit i'tikaf in the last 10 days of Ramadan. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa would sit i'tikaf in the masjid and that's what the men do, the men sit i'tikaf in the masjid. And the honorable wives would sit i'tikaf in their homes and that's what the sisters do is that they will have a designated room within their house where they will detach from the world and focus on the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the last 10 days of Ramadan. This is a beautiful sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the one who sits i'tikaf seeking Allah's mercy and blessing and hopeful of Allah, his past sins will be forgiven. Subhanallah, something that we all are in need of, having our sins expiated and removed and forgiven. If you want that, then for the pleasure of Allah, sit i'tikaf. If possible, every year take off time where you can detach from the world and sit and focus just on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In another hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the one who sits i'tikaf, it is as if he has performed two hajj or two umrahs. Subhanallah. The reward of i'tikaf is so vast that the one who sits i'tikaf, it is as if he has performed hajj twice or performed umrah twice. Subhanallah. So inshallah, make intention, if possible this year, to sit i'tikaf. Before sitting i'tikaf, you should learn the rules and regulations regarding i'tikaf and also learn about the hukuk, the rights of the masjid. Because the last thing you want is for you to go to the masjid, breaking your i'tikaf without knowing or breaking the rights of the masjid. And rather than receiving blessings, receiving curses from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the angels. So definitely make intention of sitting i'tikaf. If you have not prepared this year, then make intention that next year you will sit at Tikaf and you will detach from the world and focus on your worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you have benefited, and I am hopeful that you have benefited, then please do like, follow, and share this with family and friends. Barakallahu feekum.